hope everyone's all right okay we're coming on to do this card and it's using the dragonfly dreams fresh fig dsp do, 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 do. <laughs> and i need a roulette because i forgot to measure it before i come in so give me a minute and i'll just go grab a ruler if i can find one Okay, so we're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half inches. Okay, and first of all, you're going to fold it in half. Okay, so it's eight and a half inch square, you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it in half the other way. <laughs> and then you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it in half just one way. Okay, so we've got fold, open up, fold, open up and then fill corner to corner okay so that's what you should be looking at now okay so then what you're going to do is just tuck them corners in so that they meet like that okay this is just a little fun fill card okay so you start off with a piece of card stock and it's got to be no, it's 8 inches by 8 inches. So you fold it in half. Okay. You open it up. And you fold it in half. Okay. Then you open it up. And you fold it corner to corner. Okay. So then you tuck them two corners in. Okay, and then you have it so that the top bit has a corner and the bottom bit has a tucked in corner. So that is the front of your card. Okay, <laughs> I know it's a bit complicated. So then you're going to need... One... Two, three pieces of three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Then you're going to do another two squares, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and you're going to cut them diagonally. That's off that piece. <laughs> diagonally. From corner to corner, okay, and that's going to be your inside pieces. Right, so we can start building our card, the outside of our card. And I think I'll use this one. This gives you that nice little border. In actual fact, I'll have it to the roses point up. It gives you like one eighth of an inch border all the way around. That's what you should be looking at. Okay, and we've also cut the bits for the triangles on the inside. And I'm going to try this glue. <laughs> oh dear, it's been a long day for me, I've been nothing but filming, so you'll have to excuse me. So... Stab myself in the face. <laughs> Come on, glue. See when I mix my glues, the problems I have. <laughs> I 
think I'll go back to me other one. <laughs> right, so I want my rose facing up the way. So as I say, this will just give you that one eighth of an inch all the way round. Okay, we're going to open it up and we're going to put a full piece here. It's really thick that um, DSP. Jesus, I'm really having to squeeze this to get this glue out. Two-handed squeeze now. <laughs> so I'm going to put this piece up on this top corner. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then we're going to take our corner bits, and I don't know whether to have, I think I'll have the spotty side actually. Okay, and they're going to lie on there, if I can get this glue to come out. This is all the same DSP, it's just that. I've used a separate sheet and I'm sorry but I'm not really having to squeeze this with me two hands. My hands are not great at the best of times but so again give us that one eighth of an inch border give it a good squash Okay. Just give that a good squash. Don't want it to go over me scored lines because otherwise it will stop us from folding it up properly. Okay, and there's our other pieces from the other side. You don't have to do this. It just, I just think it looks better um, doing it like that. I'm going to switch back to me other glue because I'm really having to squeeze that other one. It's really hurting my hands. this glue just making sure I'm keeping away from them score lines because you don't want to go over them because it will bubble it up when you try and fold it again So I hope you've been enjoying the last few videos I've put up. Some techniques then, I hope you've given them a go. Okay. Just give that a squash down.
And then we've got our bottom piece which is going to go on there and our whisper white piece for our sentiment. So I'm just going to stick this one on first. Okay, so that's going to go on there and don't worry which way up it is because you're not going to see it once we put our whisper white piece on. <laughs> Just trying to get that straight. Give it a good squish down. Okay, so there's our card. <laughs> And I'm leaving that out because I'm going to stamp on that and I've done some die cutting with the stitched ed frame, edge framelits and I've also cut two of the dragonflies out, one in the champagne foil sheets and one just out of the um, fresh fig um, DSP, it's the wood one. <laughs> or the painted one whichever way you want to look at it so I've just cut them out and I'm going to lay them on top of each other so I shall get a small dimensional on the back and I have had this um, stamp and die set since it was first in the catalogue and to be honest with you, this is the first time I've used it. <laughs> That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, say. So we're going to just stick him on top of him. I'm calling them him. It could be a she for all I know. Um, and I sort of want to going up the way like that. So I'm going to stick another dimensional. I'm just using the mini dimensionals. So I'll just stick one up there. And I'll put another one on. Just a bit lower down. Okay. So we have them. That bit now. Okay, so just want to stick him here, whatever, up the way. And this card really doesn't take that much. Um, now for the sentiment, just put the lid back on that. Put the lid back on that for what use it was. Um, this is the Dragonfly Dream stamp set, okay, and it's got thanks for the smile and everything else to a wonderful friend. Enjoy your special day. You sure know how to make someone happy. That, that's really nice, isn't it? Um, but I think they're all too big. Oh, <laughs> it's never been used. <laughs> that's awful. Um, let's see. Let's see if this will fit on this sail. Just about, and we could get some doodars on there as well, I think. So I shall pick up my stamp. Okay, and again, this has never been used. So if you get a stamp that you've never used, what I would suggest and what I always do is give it a rub on my stamp and scrub first. Because it takes off that sticky residue. Okay. 
okay and I normally do that with all my brand new stamps um, should we bring out that blue a bit and we'll use this blue or should we use the no we we'll use the blue you know me if it's not blue it won't do so I've got to have some sort of blue haven't I okay so now this is the new ink and it's the new formula so it shouldn't bubble and I'm going to use this sentiment on the inside because I peeled the wrong one off And this one says, you sure know how to make somebody happy. Someone happy, sorry. Okay, so this, as I say, it's the new formula ink. Um, so you won't get that bubble anymore. Okay, so we'll use that on the inside. I'll clean this stamp. And always make sure you, you you do get a proper stamp cleaner um, because it doesn't just clean your stamps, it conditions them as well um, because there's nothing worse. We have this stamp cleaner, okay, stamp and mist it's called and it it doesn't just clean your stamps, it also conditions them. There's nothing worse than picking up a stamp and somebody's used it and they've just put it back without cleaning it or anything. And you come to use it and it's gone all... It like cracks and um, becomes unusable. So always try and clean your stamps afterwards. If you're going to use um, baby wipes or anything, get the non-alcohol ones. You know, or face wipes or um, cleaning wipes or whatever. Just make sure they've got no alcohol in them. And this one says, thanks for the smile and everything else. So on the inside, it then says, you sure know how to make someone happy. I'm just cleaning this off and then I'll use a bit of the, or I might just put some little doodads on it. <laughs> some little sparkling doodads. Okay, so there's my stamp. This is the Dragonfly Thin Lids. Okay, you actually get a bumblebee as well. <laughs> so I use this one on the foil sheet and I use this one on the DSP. And then you get sort of like five of them in a little. I'm not really one for dragonflies, I'm more a butterfly person. So prob that's probably why I've never used it. This stamp or the die set, to be honest. So, we now have our little greeting from the front. Okay, and I'm going to stick that flat, to be honest with you. Because I think the butterfly gives it all the height. Eh, not the look, the butterfly. The dragonfly gives it the height that we need. So I'm just going to stick that on this corner. And this would do as one of your cus customer. Ugh, can't even speak properly. Um, thank you cards.
and it's just something a little bit different. Okay, so remember that our card's opening that way, so your greeting is going to want to go that way. I honestly do find that ink is far better and it seems to dry far quicker as well. Okay, so there's our card and we want some doodads to go on there. So we'll use some of our glittery doodads. Um, where's my scissors gone? I'll use this. <laughs> so I'll just take a couple of the medium sized ones because you get small, medium and large and they're just like glittered domes. Okay and they're like an ombre. So there's our card and that's how it opens. You could decorate the rest of all of this if you wanted to. Um, I just want to keep it simple. Um, but you know, you do you. I'm just giving you the idea. So you're going to need, again I'll explain, a piece of card that measures 8 by 8 square. Okay, you're going to fold it in half, okay, you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it in half the other way. Okay, then you're going to open it up and then you're going to fold it. Come on, play nice. <laughs> corner to corner like that. So you'd end up with what looks like a napkin, but only you'd fold them parts in. <laughs> okay, so then you'd open it up. And you poke them two corners into the centre. And make sure you keep burnishing as you're doing this. Otherwise it just won't work. <laughs> okay. So there we go. There's our little Dragonfly Dreams card. And as I say, you can decorate inside. I'm just giving you some little bit of inspiration, I hope. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, I shall speak to you all soon thank you ever so much for visiting my channel and thank you ever so much for all your support i really do appreciate it and i appreciate each and every one of you and if you stay tuned next week i'm going to be announcing not next week the middle of this week i'm going to be announcing a giveaway that i am doing and what I'm intending to do is give you the opportunity to win a Stamparatus on me. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.